What's up everyone? Welcome back. This has been a long, long week. Kids are outside running around. I got this new desk set up for my office that just picked it up actually and uh well we're gonna dig into that real quick i'm not gonna spend too much time on it and then me and the kids have a really cool project i've had it for like three weeks and i've been dying to film it my schedule just hasn't allowed it we're gonna get things rolling up again it's getting cold outside there's leaves in my pool at a certain point i'm gonna have to get in the water can't be but 50 degrees i'm gonna have to get in there and clean the leaves and all them little helicopter things off the oak trees. I think they're off the oak trees. So we're gonna try to take this mess and uh, clean it up a bit. Hey, it's only been like four months. It's a work in progress. And you just gotta keep doing little things, little by little, so little thing, here we go. Nowadays, you can't just go buy a desk. No, you have to buy packages of desk parts and then assemble it, so I'll see you guys in about four days. <laughs> It's gonna be a total surprise to me. My, my wife picked this stuff up. She said, you're gonna love it, so let's see if I love it. Before, oh, you're gonna get to see it before me. Is that real wood? It sounds like real wood. Mm, it's better than particle wood. It kind of looks like a plywood hybrid blend. Okay, all right. I like the color. Good choice. I knew I could trust you. Follow the instruction manual. Who needs that? All right, we're getting somewhere. I would just say at the tabletop. I don't know why, but the light and the green walls or something in here makes my face so red, specifically only in this room. Look at my hand. Look at my skin. It is not red at all. I'm like, what's the red hawk called? I'm like, red hawking out. <laughs> if I go into the light, it'd be gone. The redness is gone. That's weird. It's like red reflections. Oh, we're going into the red zone. Ah! Desk building log. It's going good. It's actually super fast. This has probably been the easiest table assembly ever. Now this thing is what interests me here. It's like this little cargo net for a desk that you can jam stuff up in. And I feel like it's like the perfect like concealed carry handgun. Like you shove a handgun down there and then you do like them criminal scenes. Like guy walks in, he's shady. You gotta have a gun on him. You reach under slowly, hands on the trigger. You don't know what's gonna happen. Turns out he's just delivering cookies. Everything's fine. It's actually really wide. It's kind of short and deep and fat. I like it a lot. We're gonna set actually two of these up side by side. Both computers, bada bing, bada boom. And then there's a little cabinet. We're gonna skip past all that. You want me to type in the magic password? All right, don't look. I'm gonna type in the secret code. They're little hackers. They watch you one time. And you gotta, you gotta make some new crazy password. Everyone's a hacker these days. We got the cool, oh my face is super red right now. Ha, oh, is it still red? We got the cool project we're gonna start on right now. Uh, let's open this thing up and take a look. What is so funny? Oh my god. I think that costume's too big. I'm super excited about this. I've seen them so long ago and I finally have some. Let's take a look. All right, this is a build your own pinball machine at a cardboard kit. Out of cardboard, you build this pinball machine framework and then you customize all the obstacles and like the point values and stuff. These things look super fun and super creative. I actually saw them at Toy Fair back when me and Roman went to New York for the toy show and I picked up their card and I came across that card like six months later and I'm like, oh yeah, these looked awesome. So I ordered a couple. Let's see if we can make them as awesome as theirs. They had some pretty sweet ones on display. See some instructions. We actually may need these on this one. Oh my gosh. This is like serious origami here. Jess? Jessica, we may need you for Jess, we may need you for this. My gosh. Hey, fun. That's why we need you. Your journey begins here. Step one. I'm not gonna lie, this kit is sort of intimidating right now, just out of the box. We've got a lot of sheets of cardboard that we have to punch out and assemble. Oh. You know what I need you to do? I need you to punch this out. Not, don't punch it. I mean like just push, watch. You can just push this cardboard out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jess just got back with the pizza and food. Barbecue chicken, pep and cheese, plain cheese, sub. Busy Friday night, everyone wants pizza. Oh. So uh, hit a little snag here. We were almost done. Steps one through. One through 41, we're done, completed. But something just didn't 
add up. No, it didn't. Basically disassembled 50% of this to go back and fix my mistakes. I mean, as you can see, it's just shambles. It's piles of cardboard. Ah, don't touch it. So these things needed tucked down in here. I didn't catch it on the instructions, so I'm going back. I'm fixing my stakes. It's gonna be amazing. Just, just bear with me here. Another six, seven hour video, and we got this thing in the bag. All right, we're back. I've got it put together, and it actually looks good now. It looked pretty hideous before. I didn't realize how bad it looked until I fixed it, and I'm like, okay, that's presentable. That looks like a cardboard pinball box machine. Builder's log. Pretty late into the evening. Yeah. 8.45, 8.45 p.m. It's so late. <laughs> it's coming together nicely. I saved one of the final steps for right now. Are you ready? Cue the slow motion. I got out. It's actually big. It's not over. You want to see the coolest part? Here, let me see if I can set this up. Burr. All right, and look. It actually moves and springs back with just a rubber band. I mean, we still gotta decorate it and like make it ours and put this stuff in, but here, where's a marble? Ready? Pull your, pull your slot back. Droop. Launch. Hit it. Smack it. Oh yeah. Oh, 400 points. 500, 600. One million! Now it's the fun part. Like, this is the moment you wait for. Now you get to make your launch, your wheels, your spirals, your loop-de-loops, whatever you can think of. You just cut it out of cardboard, paste it, glue it, strap it, pin it, nail it, anything you want to do, staple it. It's semi-complicated, and it's very gratifying getting to this point. Not gonna lie. Look at all this. Look at all these sheets of cardboard I've used. Builder's Log continuing on through the night. We're not done yet. What I've done, if you don't know this, but I run a company called Bulk Domino, so I'm kind of turning this into the Bulk Domino pinball machine. Dad, I got Check it that. out. Oh, there it goes. Oh, you let it go through. We got a domino track here that can go up and down and then through the labyrinth, which is really hard to get. Oh, where'd it go? You went inside. Oh yeah, there's drop holes. You lose if you go down these drop holes. Then a ramp that goes up and goes around these dominoes. Oh, here it comes down. Bing, bing, catch it. Oh, you lose. Yes. See if you can get it up the middle. Go up the ramp. Can you get it up the ramp? Oh, oh, that's a free play. Oh man, you get that every time. Double ball, multi ball, yeah. Oh, one multi ball. Oh, bonus. Here, we got a few. Yeah. We're not done yet though. We still gotta keep designing. We're almost done. I, I love the way this is turning out. It's endless. It's literally the mind is the limit and that's what I love about it. I'm actually, uh, you know, it's gratifying. This thing is gratifying when you're finished. I'm, I'm so digging this thing. Some more stuff going on here. I need like something that spins. What you want to do when you come off this second height, some clear plastic across this that goes down like a track and then comes out and launches the ball out. Try mega two, four, six, eight balls. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's got the power. Here, you just gotta go like this. All right, get ready. Here they come. Woo! <laughs> oh, they're dropping like flies. Points, 30,000 points, 50,000 points, 90,000 points. Oh, you beat the game. Woo! <laughs> With any pinball machine, it costs money. Cold hard cash money. Check it out. You wanna go for a round? You wanna go for a round? Here, I'll pay your round. Sure. Did you just put a real coin in there? That's the coin slot, you have to pay. You do? You have to pay. <laughs> Here, Connor, do you want a ball? All right, you're in. Oh, you went through the labyrinth. Oh, how cool. The labyrinth oh. is really hard to get, Mom. Oh, you're the first one to make it up the ramp. Yeah, so you lift this up. And then all your money is tucked away neatly in the oh. coin slot. I love it. It's taken actually quite a while to build. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna put that out there. Kids, you will probably need your parents' help to build this. But the payoff, the end game, is that you got this awesome, customizable pinball machine when you're done. And you definitely need Domino's design. 
try to design it. And I will agree that hot glue, I just got a hot glue gun right here, and yeah. the dominoes make hey, Dad, it super fast. It? Guys, I like this thing so much that I'm gonna put the link in the description. Uh, go check them out. See if it's something you'd like to do. It does take time, but it's creative. It's fun. You can do it with your family. It's a build project together. Uh, we still got to bust out the crayons of the markers. He's going to town. Oh, you got, look, one ramped out of the box into my cup. <laughs> it's just a really cool product, and I like it, so I'm going to show him some support. So check out the link below if you think it looks cool or you might be interested in it. We're going to wrap this up. I'll show you the finished product in the next video. I've been working very hard on a cool new idea that's about to be revealed here in just a couple days. So stay tuned, you're gonna wanna see the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time. <laughs>